Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trains Out. <coughs> and today we're at Didcot Parkway on the Great Western Main Line. There goes 800028 with the 1328 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. So you're seeing services from Great Western Railway, cross country, and for then look, some freight and steam engines as well. Sounds healthy. It's the beauty of coming to the Didcot uh, or Didcot Parkway is that you have the Didcot Railway Centre running at the same time. So at the moment it's just a singular tank engine with what looks like a auto coach running around and departing off to hell to blah, try again departing to head off to one of the sidings there's going to be a pair of Great Western 387s that terminated in about five minutes ago with a service from London Paddington it's always a good station to come to this only snag is is that which version of real time trains do you look at to get your information I'm having to use uh, the one for the junction up there in order to work out what's going to be heading off along the Cherwell Valley line. Of course I obviously get to see what comes through here but what it does mean is I can't actually see what times trains are due to stop here. So it's going to be a bit of a all over the place kind of video but we will make it work where we can. So with that all being said and done let us see what shall turn up. Okay, heading out now is 387154 with their Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Should be the uh, 1351. And there's an 800 that has uh, made an appearance, I think. This one might be Great Malvern to London Paddington that's called here. Now as that tank engine is back once more. I'm trying to now flick between real-time trains for Didcot Parkway and the junction and I'm getting myself in a right old confusing model. It doesn't take much, I grant you. But uh, there's supposed to be quite a few interesting little things making appearances throughout the course of the afternoon, so we'll have to just keep our eyes open as best we can. I say we, I mean me. But I, I like to share the blame equally between you all. I mean, I don't know what you as the viewer could possibly do, because by the time this goes live, well, there's literally nothing I can do, because this is all pre-recorded, so, you know. But I like to think in some weird and wonderful, construed way, you're somehow contributing to the things that are happening in this film. At this point, you're probably thinking that he's quite mad, and you'd be right in assuming so. I mean, if this hasn't been made apparent through all the other films I've made over the years, then there really is no hope for us. Okay, well, squeakiness 800027 is now heading off. The 1344, in which case that's running late. In which case it isn't the Great Malvern train, it's... I have no idea what it is. Ah, hold on, one moment. Sorry about the quick jump there, I had a wasp that decided to want to make friends with my hand. Okay, coming in now is one of Great Western's IETs. I have to try and work out on the side where it's off to. It's 800-314 with the 1353 Great Western Railway service to Cardiff Central. Oh, doing about turn. To find a freight line of 66 hauling uh, an aggregate train, 66, 619.
from Oxford to Watley Quarry. I say, I say, okay, even. <laughs> okay, I say. Slowly creeping into platform four is going to be the pair of Great Western 387s with 387159 leading uh, that will eventually work the 1415 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. So it'll be here for about 15 minutes. The Graham Mulvan train that um, I said was that wasn't, was. So it was the late running 1344 Great Western Railway service from Great Malvern to London Paddington. Very nice. Okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1402 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Oxford. There's a kestrel flying around here uh, somewhere. So, slowly working our way in is Donovan Jennifer Gardner, 802-006. And then you got Harry Billinge, MBE, as the name on the rear. It's got such a cute whistle. I really must go over to the railway centre at some point and just have another wander around because it's a it's a great place to walk around to. And she's making a spirited departure. Okay, it's parting now. In fact, departing at the same time as the 1402 Great Western Railway service to Oxford and the late running 1357 Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. Works by 800-025. Captain Sir Tom Moore. There's a flat wheel or two on there. That'll have to get checked out. Okay, the next train to apart. Uh, oh my god, I'm having a mare today. The next train to approach and subsequently pass through will be a tamper of some variation running from Taunton to Didcot Fuel Point. I can't remember the last time I saw a tamper running around anywhere during the day. Very delicate as well. LEDs doing the business. Courtesy of Network Rail. Oh, it's a rail grinder. Okay, the first IET to come storming through the station will be one of Great Westerns, I'll see if it's going to be anything else, going from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Meads. I believe that is 800 301. Okay, we have a Great Western IET passing by. White Ribbon 800-016. Coupling guard open on the rear.
Okay, the next train to make an appearance is going to be the 1411 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Cheltenham Spa. And this is worse by 802011. And then also coming in is the 1816 Great Western Railway service from Cheltenham Spa to London Paddington. The number of which I will get when she departs. Captain Robert Falcon Scott. Incredibly squeaky brakes on those units. Okay, it's parting now is the 1415 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington being led by 387159. Seven one seven one brings up the rear. Acceleration on those units is phenomenal. Okay, departing subsequently is the uh, fourteen sixteen and fourteen eleven Great Western Railway services to and from. Thank you very much, Charles Bar, Catherine Osmond, eight oh sorry eight hundred zero two three. That's two tone from the driver there, thank you very much. They've got their coupling guard open as well, interesting. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be another Great Western Railway IET running from Cardiff Central to London Paddington. Ooh, I couldn't get the number for that one. I want to say 800017, but I can't be sure. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be a Great Western Railway IET running from Reading to Carmarthen. Started at Reading because it was cancelled between London Paddington and Reading. Eight hundred zero thirty and eight hundred zero two nine. Okay, the next freight train to pass through is going to be a DB Cargo UK Class sixty six, hauling the cargo wagons from Tilbury to Trust Works. It's one of the maritime liveried DB units. 66090 Maritime Intermodal 6 Very, very weathered ferry wagons on that train. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be a cross-country Voyager going from Bournemouth 
to Manchester Piccadilly. Gonna be a pair of them. Two twenty double oh three and two two one 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 nine. Then two twenty zero two two. On a Manchester Piccadilly to Bournemouth run. And then behind me is eight oh two one oh six with the fourteen twenty eight Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. Okay, then, by Redditor Park now is going to be 802106 with the 1428 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Running on diesel. That's interesting. Okay, the next train to arrive coming in 15 minutes later. We are terminating Great Western Railway service from London Paddington, being led by 387146. Three eight seven one six eight brings up the rear. Oh, and there'll be a DB sixty six racing through. Taking a container train from Trafford Park to Southampton West Dogs Berth one oh nine. Fully loaded, which is always great to see. But okay, then it's part of now, just a minute late, it's going to be the 1438 Great Western Railway service back up to London Paddington. Okay, coming out now is going to be the seasonal RHTT, courtesy of DB, doing the circular route from Decot Fueling Point to, oddly enough, Decot Fueling Point. 66.206 leading the duo out. Wait for the light to go green and then away we shall go. Okay, coming in now is the late running 1438, Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Meads. I looks like this. But by 802 104.
Right so. It is a 70. I'm just I get the next freight train to pass through. It's going to be worked by freight, one of Freightliner's 70s going from Southampton to Trafford Park. <laughs> 70 004. God, I love that sound. She is not hanging about either. Okay, to point now is the 1444 Great Western Railway service from Worcester Shrub Hill to London Paddington. Being worked by Paddington Bear 800 010. I can listen to that sound all day. I just love that sound. Okay, the next freight train to pass by is going to be the empty oil train from Thiel Puma to Robertson's, worked by a DB Cargo UK Class 66. Mind you, it might be working in tandem with another 66. They tend to stick two on these things, but we'll soon see. So, coming through in rather pristine condition is 66, zero, uh, 66 656. One of the new re-geared 66s. Much rather see a 60 on one of those, but you can't win them all. Okay, the next IET to pass by will be running from Carmarthen to London Paddington. Taking a fair amount of wind when they're in the process and not hanging about. Okay, the next train train to pass by is going to be what looks like a Collis Rail Class 60 going from Wembley Reception Sidings 1 to 7 to Tithrington. Now, is this Collis or has this been moved over to GBRF? Or, or is that a DC Rail? Sixty zero two eight. The Kappa livery, complete with matching box fans, JNAs. Okay, the next round to pass by is going to be a cross-country voyager running from Reading to York. Works by 220-004. Okay, then the signal has changed for the RHTT train to do its circular route via Newbury. Brakes get released. And we're off. Sixty six one six five on the rear. Two 
206 is clagging like a good one. Okay, now coming in seven minutes late, it's going to be the 1457 Great Western Railway service from Western Supermare to London Paddington. With incredibly squeaky brakes, courtesy of 800 302. Marvellous. Okay, then about ready to depart now is going to be the 1457 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Okay, the next road train to pass through is going to be running a uh, light engine courtesy of Collis Rail with one of their class 70s going from Eastleigh to Hinksey. Seventy-eight oh six. Nice little tone from the driver as well. And an even better one then. <laughs> okay, the next train to arrive is going to be the 1510 Great Western Railway service from Cardiff Central to London Paddington, worked by a pro class 387s. Why on earth you'd do Cardiff to London on this train? I'd have no idea. But 387157 is leading, and I shall get the rear when she departs. OK, it's parting now, two minutes later, it's the 1510 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Next corner point will be Reading. And 307167 will bring up the rear. And you might not be able to see this, you can probably hear it, but that is a RAF Chinook. Even from a distance, they just sound brilliant. Mind you, the best sounding helicopters out there are definitely the Apache gunships. They just sound awesome. But then again, but with a Chinook, they sound incredibly distinctive. OK, the next train to pass by, having now just uh, pulled away from a signal check, is going to be one of Great Western's IETs with a service from Oxford to London Paddington. Harry Billinge, 802006. That's the one we saw earlier. And that's interesting, it uh, stopped here, and then when it heads back to London, it bypasses here. Curious. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be a Great Western Railway IET running from London Paddington to Western Supermare. Three ten with one hell of a tow. Okay, it's parting now is the fifteen sixteen Great Western Railway service from Cheltenham Spa to London Paddington. Watched by Martin Heath eight hundred zero three three.
Okay, coming in now is 387147 with the terminating Great Western Railway service from London Paddington. Okay, the next freight train to pass by is going to be watched by a Freightliner 66 hauling a ballast train from Watley Quarry to Oxford Banbury Road, running two and a half hours late. Going out to rather... Very nice, going out to rather sedate pace there incredibly loud blast with the horn from 66 541 Hauling a rake of very well weathered JNA wagons. Fully loaded train. Okay, the next train to arrive, coming in 15 minutes late, is going to be the 1511 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Cheltenham Spa. Worked by 800-027. And also coming in is the 1527 Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. Thank you very much. Nancy Esther, 802-101. Marvellous. Okay, it's part now is the 1527 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Then we come down this way to find a cross-country voyager passing by with a service from Bournemouth to Manchester Piccadilly. Also coming off a signal check. Looks like it's one of their super voyagers. Looks by 2 to one one twenty. Okay, well, something a little different. The uh, little tank engine, number 2409, is out of the actual yard to do some uh, switching around. So, obviously, they've done their running for the day. I'd actually love to see, uh, it's never going to happen, but I'd love to see it so they actually run their little excursion trains out from 
the uh, little bay platform they have and then have it run you know into the the sidings and then they can just have them running back and forth through the sidings and everything else okay i know that network rail would never allow it and it would be a logistical nightmare but it would be amazing to see okay the next train to pass by is going to be a great western railway iet running from swansea to london paddington Yeah, they're not hanging about. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, the next train to pass by is going to be another Great Western Railway IET running from London Paddington to Swansea. And that is worked by 800 312. Okay, our final train of the day is going to be another Great Western Railway IET running from London Paddington to Worcester Fourgate Street. Worked by a very clean 800 011. And as she continues on, which I shall leave it there. Thank you all very much for watching, it is greatly appreciated. If you have enjoyed your scene today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, I do get back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. I've really, really enjoyed my time here. Um, when your time did cock right, it can be an absolute gold mine of a station, it really can. Uh, so DC Rail Freight 60, the RHTT operated by DB Cargo, the uh, Tilbury to Trost uh, cargo wagons workings, the two quarry trains, the amount of container trains going through, brilliant. And obviously the uh, the empty fuel tanks as well, fantastic. Yeah, brilliant time here. And in fact, as ever, it never is the last train, as the last train will actually be 387147 with the uh, 1538 Go Western Railway service to London Paddington. But yeah, I've really enjoyed my time here at Didcot. It's a fantastic station to come down to. I, I must come down here more often, but you just got to get it, you time it just right. Uh, I'm not sure where my next station is going to be. Um, possibly March on the Fen Line. I've been asked quite a bit to go there, so I might give that a little look-see uh, and then go from there. But until next time, from me here at Didcot Parkway on the Great Western Main Line, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.